All right, everybody. Uh, this is Dad Machima here, and we're back to bring you a new video. Um, before I even start, I want to apologize because I'm a little congested today. So if I sound a little, if I sound nasally, that's why. Okay. So with that, so with that being said, um, yeah, we bring you a new video today. Now, this uh, particular video, we're going to be talking about color holds and clipping masks. They're virtually the same thing, and um. And we're gonna talk about how to use them to color our subject. So with that, so with, so with that being said, let's get started. All right. So once you got your angst the way you want it, say like you're doing a character, and and you got your angst right, and you're ready to add some coloring. All right. So one way you can one way you can do this is by um, first you want to do a color fill, and I find out the best way to color fill is against any color but white. I don't know why, I just, um, I think, I think you can see better, in my opinion, you can see better if you use any other color besides white. But, um, so what I do is usually I just use like a solid color, like magenta or green or something like that. Anything, anything that's, um, that's not on your subject color scheme will work. All right, so we got the magenta background added. So now all we're gonna do is just uh, add the solid, we're gonna add a solid color and then we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, we got a, we got the color fill in. We, we, I decided to go with white, ironically. And um, so now we are ready to apply a clipping mask or convert this into a clipping mask. And the way you do that, first you go, before you do anything, uh, go to the solid color or the, your, your uh, color fill that you just added and rename that layer to clipping mask. Okay, once you do that, create another, create another layer and make sure that it's right above the clipping mask layer. Now you wanna go to the top and you want to press the clip to layer below button. Yeah, it's like a little square with a gray square on the inside of it. Anyway, just uh, press that button, and what you'll see is a paint out. It'll be, it'll be like a paint line that come across the newly created layer that you just made. All right. So what that means is that 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 this layer is now clipped to the clipping mask layer. Now we're going to apply color to this guy, but we're not going to we're not going to um, touch the clipping mask layer anymore. So, and to ensure that you don't miss in color on that layer, just uh, add a lock to it. Now go back to the new layer that you just to the to the new layer that you just made. All right, so now you can start applying colors. So we're going to, we're going to zoom in. Okay. All right, so let's say like I wanna, we wanna turn, make this his skin green, right? So we can just start color filling, uh, uh, start coloring green. Now you notice I'm going on out, I'm going outside of the lines, and notice how no color is shown on the outside of the lines, only on the inside of the lines. Well, that's because this layer is clipped to the layer below. So being that we got white fill, color fill in the layer below, no color can show up on the outside of that layer. So because this because this layer is clipped to, to the clipping mask layer. Now, let me show you something. The color information is still there. You just can't see it because it's, it's hidden by the clipping mask. Now let's say if we if we were to uh, go back to the clip to the layer below button and then press it, what will happen is you will release that clipping mask and now you can see all the strokes that you made on the outside of the lines. So like I say, the color information is still there. You just can't see it when you're using the clipping mask. So, uh, if you're following along, please, 
please go back to that uh, clip and mash button and uh, press it again. So now the layer is clip is back to um, uh, clipping is back clipping again to the layer below. So now um, you know you can and then you just keep adding colors. And this is quite powerful because it makes coloring easier. And you can add as many layers uh, to this to this uh, to the style of uh, coloring. So say like let me show let me give you an example. So say like if I wanted to add another layer, but I wanted to be clipping as well to the layer below. First thing first, clip on, click, I'm sorry, click on the clipping mask layer and then create a new layer. Now, this layer will automatically be clipped to the clipping mask layer. Now, make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna use multiple layers, you wanna drag this above the other layer, the first layer that you clip below. Now you can color on top of the layer that you just that you just color on. So so say like if I wanna um color red, I know this this is about to be ugly. But say like I want to color red or something like that. Color red and then Let's say like, if I made a mistake, but being that I'm not on, you know, being that I'm on a different layer, I can I can erase without even worrying about, you know, erasing the, you know, the green skin or whatever. So, so this method is quite powerful. And, um, so yeah, um, a clipping mask in general, all it is, you just use a root layer once you once you once you fill that root layer with a solid color you can then create a layer on top of that and then press the clip clip below button to clip that layer to the clipping mask and then you can just color to your heart's content and that and that's really it you know that's it in a nutshell uh i use this method to color this picture the final version of the picture um Yes, it's quite powerful. All right, guys. So that was um, how to use clipping masks to color your art. And if you like what you saw, please give a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And once again, my name is Dad Mishima. Uh, hope you guys have a blessed day. And as I always say, uh, and also uh, be sure, like if you're into like video gaming, be sure to check out Dad and kids play one where we we play a lot of like family oriented games over there like a bunch of mario a bunch of sonic but mostly mario and um you know and, and maybe be, like fighting games periodically but yeah if you like fight if you like video games like you know just give us a, just you know give us a, a a shot over there you might like what you see and with that being said hope you guys have a blessed day and i'm out peace